Hello, and welcome to the last step. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for filling in as we had power outages and so forth. And hey, Frank, I see you there in the south of France still. And uh, yeah, this is uh, an exciting, exciting week for me. We had um, we had Kirsten on last week as a guest as this theme of even just joining with certain ones here about staying in what's present, like what is the present joining, what is the present healing, what is, what's going on. And here at Camus, we've, uh, we've had quite a bit of healing and uh, mind training has been, uh, has been a big focus. And yeah, we started reading uh, some chapters of the new book that's coming out from David Hofmeister and been using that. And so I was inspired to actually stay with the vibe of this house and what was going on and I wanted to bring a guest on so I have Greg with me today who has come here from uh, you were in did you come here straight from South America in South America for six weeks or so and then uh, yeah. we went to uh, strawberry prep That's right. so yeah we were there for several weeks before yeah he was down uh, with Jeff actually he did some gatherings down in yeah. South America and yeah, then he was helping out at Strawberry and then came here to pretty much be over the center here, uh, the Camus Metaphysical Center. And, you know, there's there's been up to 12 and as low as 8 with people supporting for the Mystery School because we have the Mystery School now. And, yeah, it's been really great because uh, we've been focusing on this mind training. And I guess the theme of my show today is uh, be with me. Greg started saying that and uh, it started with, I think, Jess and in the kitchen and as soon as he said it, it was like oh and like that was my my lesson like okay let me be with you especially with we've been called into this overseer role that you know we're kind of staying connected on the whole ministry you know connecting with some of the people from mexico and the monastery so that we have an overview of what's going on in all the centers and and each of those calls it was like that prayer of be with me be with me and certainly with you being here in the house and yeah it's been it's been amazing because it started with this this assignment that you know came our exercise rather that came out um, I shared one that we did last week and this week um, we went into the chapter which was private thoughts and the night before Greg said uh, okay I want you guys to think about this this question and the question was who and what is the Holy Spirit to me and I was like okay and so I, I, I pondered that and I, I contemplated it and yeah, I really didn't just say the first thing that came to me. I actually sat with it and then this is what I actually wrote and I, didn't, I haven't even shared this with you yet, mm. but I wrote it that night and uh, it was funny because this idea of my relationship, you know, and in 12 steps, you know, they talk about it and I've shared this on the show before at the end in the step book uh, of the one, the 12 step program I was in, it says, how am I rightly relating to my fellows? Because that's how I'm relating to, you know, the Holy Spirit or to my, my, uh, my source. And it's funny because we say the 12 steps is a relationship and a certainly, you know, a holy relationship will be given you is the whole point of the course. And so I had so many insights when I, when I did this and it was even that other section, me and Frank were leading, reading last week was the call to faith, which is right after and it was like every situation is a relationship. So I'm actually in relationship with everything and everyone and every, everything that enters my mind. And so I actually sat with this and, and this is what I wrote when I, I wrote to the question, who and what is the Holy Spirit to me? And I wrote, he is my best friend, the friend I've always wanted, the one that will never leave, never move away and never make me wonder. He is the answer to every question I have ever asked. He is the safety in which I rest. And I, I was surprised after I wrote that because my whole life had been the experience of having a best friend or in, you know, in relationship and they move away. My first best friend moved. You know, I was in, remember seeing him off and like we were in first grade and we went to his house to see him move to Florida and then it happened every two or three years my best friend would move away and there was always this was that thought of abandonment playing out in my mind and yeah so when I actually wrote this I was like wow and I really felt felt that and then to transfer it to what you've been 
calling us to here was be with me in every moment. And like that's actually my, my relationship. So yeah, that was part of the reason I wanted to have you on today was to, yeah. to share that and the experience yeah. of it. Yeah, it's been a beautiful journey because um, it's, it's really teach what you would learn. So um, when, the new, when the private thoughts session came in, I started to look at the exercise and, and, and actually it was fairly intuitive because when I got there, I'm not sure exactly what the timing was, but I realized that, you know, well, we could just all go through the private thoughts and everything and just do this. And the exercise was to expose everything to the Holy Spirit. And so I was like, wait a minute, you know, we need to set up this relationship. And mm. actually it's, it, if, if you wanted to just take it all down to what we're doing, that's what it is. So it was this deep call to myself, to the mind, to everyone, to, to go inward, to see, like, to really drop down into a relationship with the Holy mm. Spirit. And I, I started to have these just beautiful experiences. I shared some of them. And um, one experience was with a friend of mine who was a chiropractor healer. And years and years ago, I... I met him and, and sort of had, you know, some sessions with him here and there. But for some reason, the Holy Spirit called. It was the Holy Spirit. It was like the Holy Spirit was like, no, bring this guy to mind. Welcome him into your heart and your mind. And there was this deep, profound experience dropping into, um, dropping into a, uh, just a love, actually. It was really just, wow, I really... I need to really recognize how much I love this man. I, I don't know him too well, but his purpose in you know the what he taught as a teacher and everything else mm. was just really lined up with all of this. So it was it was like a symbol that dropped me into what the Holy Spirit needs to be. And there's more and more dependency, more and more uh, I'd say desperation on a mind level, <laughs> not you know, running around like desperate, but, but in the mind, desperate to, yeah, to, to actually, it's like, you know, it has to happen. You know, it, yeah. it's, it's yeah, and inevitable. it's this, it's really, it's, and it can be pretty intense to try to turn the outward world in perception back down inward mm -hmm. so much so that you can see even for a moment where the only thing that matters is the relationship with the Holy Spirit. Mm. Um, and Frances was just sharing that with her uh, on that video that she had, the simplicity of happiness, um, you know, speaking about God, you know, the relationship, yeah. so. Yeah, I've noticed mm. even like in these, com these overseer calls or the communication calls and just watching my mind around that thought, like be with me. And even the calls with you, Frank, you know, when Frank's going through some stuff back in uh, the south of France and you know, it's always the call is it's like I'm not even saying anything or doing anything. It's like if I can be there. I remember watching uh, early on in my, my journey was I would watch Tick uh, Tick Not Han and that was his only thing. Mm. Like, I am here with you. That's it. That was his whole teaching in this one thing. I thought, I'm here with you and that's it. And it was funny because even last night, you know, someone here was going through some stuff and they came and knocked on my door at 11 o'clock and I was sleeping and then I woke up and I said, oh, I was hoping you didn't answer the door. And I was like, okay, come on in and threw a pillow on the floor. And they just laid there and not many words were spoken, but they slept there till two o'clock. It was like just this, being I don't need to do anything. It's like when, you know, this is what they were talking about in the earlier show, Andy and Nicholas. It's like when I'm not doing anything is when I'm being most helpful. That's actually the humility, letting go of the arrogance of that's what the salvation of the world depends on, me doing nothing <laughs> and actually just being, being there and being that presence. So. Yeah, I'm uh, really excited about this whole uh, new direction here with even the communications and calling myself to be with every, you know, everything, actually really hearing and really, you know, accepting. And yeah, with you, Frank, there's been a lot going on. And I mean, you know, that's what I do a lot. It's like, hey, Frank, come on back, be with me. When it's like you've been talking, even this, as soon as this morning, you know, it was like, I'm going back to Zurich and the mind wants to go with the, whatever victim thought or, oh, it's going to be gray, I have to... He's going back to, and it'll be seemingly alone there. And it was like, no, be with me, Frank. And then what came up was, hey, what about this? And actually these ideas of, you know, Kirsten's got some travels that she's doing and I'm helping her out, setting up some stuff, possibly in Brazil. And when I said those things, Frank sparked up like, oh, 
like this idea of a gathering or the 21 day retreat at the monastery. And he got sparked by that. And I was like, yeah. And we actually got into a, a joining there. I was like, yeah, this sounds great. And we were going with it. And then the mind wants to go back with, ah, oh, and then I'm going back to his records. No, be with me, be with this, <laughs> be with this direction or this, this present experience. So. Yeah, that helped me a lot. You know, I have been, um, as you said, I've been going through a lot of things and you know, the, what's, what it seems like, it, everything's going so fast and there's a lot of undoing fast and also some undoing of the world. And, um, you know, and then these doubt thoughts came, uh, came in and it's really good because I can expose them with you and, um, you know, and, and look, you know, just let them come up to the surface. But yeah, this morning I had a, <laughs> it was really not, a, I was depressed, you know, I thought, okay, now my life is all gone, you know. I mean, my world is really disappearing fast. And, Be with uh, me, Frank. And yeah, and so I, I came back and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very interesting. It, you know, so, some of it is, is I, I experience it like a loss, you know, and a sacrifice. And so, um, you know, this, this being with you and joining it's I, I could I, I could never do this without mm. you know also what I really loved is that uh, you know the, the 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 thing you gave me to read the appointed friend mm. and um, and it it's a very uh, I mean incredibly strong first introduction you know don't uh, you know anything that you, that you strive for, or that you, that even looks like a good cause or whatever, and you go for it, it will eventually hurt you because you're, um, because you're forgetting that it's all an illusion. Mm. And so, you know, if I couldn't, I didn't have you to be with me, there's no way, I mean, there's absolutely no way I could go through this, you know. Yeah, yeah. We have the book out here now. Actually, I, I, I put a bookmark in that page, and this is Susanna's one, and she's got the, uh, the Jesus thing. Come unto me is actually what the card says. It's like, so it's like perfect. And yeah, that appointed okay. point and friends section. There was a few sections that we read during that night when we actually start, started talking about what is this relationship with, and even in twelve steps, it's like my own conception. What am I actually conceiving of? Like, what is my my higher power or my my holy spirit and yeah this section really speaks speaks uh, to that yeah. do you want to read a little yeah well here's an interesting um the middle paragraph actually because you you paraphrased the first paragraph pretty well there frank um the second paragraph says lead not your little life in solitude with one illusion as your only friend. This is no friendship worthy of God's Son, nor one with which he could remain content. Yet God has given him a better friend, in whom all power in earth and heaven rests. The one illusion that you think is friend obscures his grace and majesty from you and keeps his friendship and forgiveness from your welcoming embrace. Without him, capital H, you are friendless. Seek not another friend to take his place. There is no other friend. What God appointed has no substitute. For what illusion can replace the truth? And just in terms of, you know, when our attention, what's basically happening um, essentially is our attention or our friend's attention is, is being taken away or distracted by something. And this is like, this is what we're doing is we're calling, yeah. we're calling back, hey, 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 be with me, be with me. And it's symbolic. It's symbolic of inviting the Holy Spirit in the relationship, uh, mm -hmm. symbolic of uh, bringing presence in. Um, and it's, yeah, it feel, it's just felt so healing. When it first came through, I just couldn't believe it. It was just all, 
it, it came really strongly through and to call attention to, you know, our, our joining with one of our, um, with one of the volunteers. Um, and it just came right through me and I couldn't believe, in some ways I was like, whoa, what's just happened? And then I just felt the love and the intention behind it. Um, Cause I was like, that's, I'm sincere about this. You know, and it was like, boom, it just hit me so strong. And I think that is sort of really welcoming a deeper, a much deeper joining too. Yeah. And it all happened. I mean, yeah. I called for mind training. I was like, you know, okay, great. You guys are, the emotions all came out for a week here at the center, you know, for a couple of weeks. It was like, okay, beautiful. And then the mind was still just like, whoo, whoo. and then all of a sudden, the mind training all this week, the mind training came back in and there, it's like communications were happening so effortlessly and things were yeah. like, and I was like, oh, wow, I was just watching the whole thing. I couldn't believe it. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's, it's just been miraculous just to watch this whole thing unfold. And Yeah. yeah. There, there's something when you're reading that, because we talked last night, we actually went and grabbed a bite. And when we were just talking about that, the ones we actually feel so deeply like, oh, you know, they're with me. Like, oh, I know they're with me. Like, and that's what it's felt like here. And as you were reading that, there was this, you know, coming to me, like, even coming through the earlier part of my, uh, my, my program of recovery and everything, it was like, that was the things, like, I, you know, I always wanted to be, you know, what is this thing, be with me? It's actually, yeah, being present with, with spirit, like, and then actually being in that relationship at that moment, because I always wanted to be somewhere else. Like, that was always the thing. I wanted to be here or there and not with the person I was at. And then sometimes that'll come up. Like, if I'm trying to be there, whether it's a communication or something, it'll be like, oh, wait a minute. There's something that's trying to call me away from this. And it's like, it's been just this call to know, let's really be here. And if anything comes up, like you said, emotions have come up and, you know, fears, attractions, whatever it is, it's going to come up when we move towards this love. Because as another one that they were sharing this morning was this fear of love is there. And then once we can move by that it's like yeah we can actually experience it so yeah uh, before the show I actually went and listened to uh, to the Sam Smith one song the, stay with me you have to translate it retranslate it because it's a special in this song but <laughs> so then I wasn't yeah. hear me and Gregory going be with me won't you be with me cause it's all I need. It's interesting because when I first came to Camus, um, the first couple of days, I mean, this is like all totally new for me. Um, being that this is a very, this is a major center um, for living miracles. There's a lot of function happening. Um, there's a lot of movements, particularly now between the monastery and, and Camus. Yeah. And um, uh, so, the, for some reason. Uh, yeah, the, the, the theme of intimacy came up and I was like, oh, that's kind of makes me a little nervous. <laughs> you know, it's like, but truly, I mean, it's like it continues to be the calling of my heart, you know, and I spoke to it for the first couple of days. So I was like, you know, and I, I'm, you know, and I, it was a calling and, a, and I feel it more and more that, that you know, there's, it doesn't make any other sense to spend our time any other way um, than to, you know, really be together like really in our meetings, you know, no matter what the form looks like or whatever, but um, yeah, and it's, it's very powerful and I, I feel the healing, I, I feel the healing happening, you know, and you could say it's this one or that one, you could say it's the mind, but it's, it's everyone's healing. Mm. Um, there's, like you were saying, there's some great themes touched upon this whole morning with trust and, yeah. and, uh, and healed, not being healed alone and everything, so. Yeah. So yeah, I just feel blessed uh, to be here. Um, yeah, I'm very blessed to be here, and um, you know, just get to join and. Mm. Yeah, it was funny. I remember actually saying for the first time it was in a twelve-step group where I said it was all. I realized that my whole 
life it was the fear of intimacy certainly with other you know and then with sponsorship it's with another man and you're breaking down barriers that you didn't even know were there it was like to actually be with someone and not want to be somewhere else or and that's kind of what I feel has been going on with us Frank it was like in the morning you know you'll have a lot of the thoughts come up at first and it's like oh this is going on this is going on and then it's almost it's like the journaling we've been doing too like get all that stuff out of the way so that we can actually we can actually be together and that was the private thoughts section it was like okay we all like wrote it out and I remember I was like and you know we did it for a long stretch of time just write every thought that comes to our mind every you know private thought or things we don't want to share and I've done this before but in this moment I just you know I wrote until I was like oh and I like literally was like tired like so tired and I remembered I used to start reading the course and when I would read it I would just like read a paragraph and I'd be like Ugh. and this came up the other night when uh, I went out to uh, with Kirsten and Susanna and we kind of had this recommitment to our our relationship and making it more of a primary you know primary relationship uh, and as we sat there and we just you know spoke all the words and everything it was like it was like a recommitment like a marriage ceremony it was like it was really cool <laughs> and then like I had I hugged her afterwards and I felt myself get like that same that same tiredness and Kirsten caught it she's like what was that what did you just say because I had said oh, uh, oh I feel tired or something she's like what was that and I'm like yeah I think I said I was getting tired and there's something about it like this fear of love like or of that deep intimacy actually my whole <laughs> my whole body just like shut down I was making a joke with someone around here the other day I'm like inside it's all like the egoic mind's like shut him down he's getting close like oh, yeah. <laughs> shut the whole system down <laughs> and I'm just like getting all tired so it was cool to actually see that that's a reaction to to actually moving towards that that be with me or that intimacy hmm So I actually been asking Frank to do all the same things that we've been doing here, and you'll all soon be able to do it when the the book comes out in February. Is yeah, it? yeah. And did I, we mention that? Did we mention that there are exercises from the new book? I did. I've been mentioning yeah. it for the last last okay. few oh, shows. Yeah. It's like whatever's yeah. present, and that's sure. what it's been. We went through mm -hmm. all the chapters: judgment to knowledge, and then it was mm -hmm. perception and mm -hmm. and guilt, and then fear and guilt. And yeah, and then it was uh, private, private thoughts thought. and. Yeah, that, that book will come out in February. This moment is your miracle. And I've been asking Frank to do all the same thing. A lot like we were doing these exercises with the setting the goal that, yeah, he's been, we've been doing it still. All those practices we've been keeping in place. And I'd called him the other night and he was going through quite a bit. And it was, these thoughts were present and, you know, and so we joined and he was, he was sharing them. And then in the middle, I'm like, no, here's the question. Like, let's, it was the same thing that I was being called to here. And it was like, I want to learn it. So it's the same thing Greg's saying, like, teach what you would learn. And, and I asked you that question, Frank, and, and then you shared a bit about it, uh, you know, that who and what is the Holy Spirit to you. Oh, yeah, I was muted. Uh, yes, I was, uh, yeah, I told you, I, I, I had a lot of confusion about, you know, the Holy Spirit and the Christ and, the, you know, but, um, but this morning when I, in my lesson, and I read it again, it, very, it became very clear, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this presence, and, you know, it's great to, yes, to go through all these, um, you know, you give me all these things to read, and it's so spot on, you know, and so, and I'm even sharing them with people here, you know, I say, hey, you should read this, you know, like my friend Doug, and, you know, I just, um, because it makes it all so alive, you know. It's it's really it's so alive, you know. It's mm. such a long, <laughs> it's such a long way from going to a, you know, to a study group, you know, because it's just it's it's. I feel like I'm in a very fast elevator, you know, and um, and I'm, I'm I get all this this stuff thrown, you know, all these tools. Um, so, you know, I can, I can see exactly what's going on. I can also watch my mind. The other thing that's interesting in, in, is that I'm doing this, I'm, you know, you guys are over there and I'm here. Mm. So often I have to really 
wash my mind, you know, with some by myself. I, I sometimes I feel I even have to, I have to work harder because I'm not, you know, I'm not in the community and we talk every day. But in the meantime, um, yeah, it feels like, you know, it feels like I'm doing a lot and, and it feels like work, you know, it, it, mm. is, it is work. And, mm. and at the other, on the other hand, like I think Andy said, I just have to get out of the way. You know, I just mm. have, it's the work is just get out of the way. Mm. And the more it goes on, the more I realize, don't do anything. Don't do anything. Just give up everything. You know, give up everything. Um, and that sentence, that, that first sentence of the appointed friend is so, you know, then every once in a while I get something that's so in my face. You know, there's no way around that. Just give up everything. Everything mm. you thought had value is going to, mm. you're, you're going to cry. Yeah, <laughs> that was the other, uh, that was the other yeah. question. I called you too this morning that Greg, we've been using Basecamp as a way to communicate here. It's a, an app where we can really stay linked and know what everyone's actually working on, done, and everything. And it's it's really really helpful. And the one question Greg asked us all as as a as a house was, um, where does my safety lie? And you know Frank's alluding to that now. And it's like actually each day bringing it. You know where am I placing my trust? Where does my safety lie? So I can actually see. I can start removing the things that are there. But we don't have much time left, and I know I saw Greg took his phone out, so I think maybe there's, he may have the answer to it all, Frank. So let's see what, uh, what you got over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, um, <laughs> there, sort of the, um, this, this communi the communication and uh, the staying linked and, um, yeah, be here with me. Yeah, it's all kind of interconnected, um, and it sort of leads us to uh, the lesson. So I can read, I can read the lesson. It should be about the right amount of time, and, and it's kind of cool because I, I, the vibe of Anne and Ken, Anna and Ken's show is this beautiful dropping into trust and stillness, and so mm. seems like we're connecting into that. This is lesson two sixty six. My holy self abides in you. God's Son. So it's like a step up from be with me. Mm. My holy self abides in you, God's Son. Father, you gave me all your sons to be my saviors and my counselors in sight. The bearers of your holy voice to me. In them are you reflected and in them does Christ look back upon me from myself. Let not your son forget your holy name. Let not your son forget his holy source. Let not your son forget his name is yours. This day we enter into paradise, calling upon God's name and on our own, acknowledging ourself in each of us, united in the holy love of God. How many saviors God has given us. How can we lose the way to him when he has filled the world with those who point to him and given us the sight to look on them? Hmm. My holy self abides in you, God's Son. That's... Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect timing and a nice ending. Mm. So I invite you to be with me for the rest of the day and Jason and be with Jason and David in about 15 Thanks, Frank. minutes. So, <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Back to you, Jeff. <laughs> 